The Conservative Party of Canada is going to be identifying over the next few months a new leader for that party. And that leader is going to either share our views and values or not share our views and values. And who's going to decide that? Well, you and me. Hi, this is Doug Sharp, host of the National Leadership Briefing, and this is the Midweek Touchpoint. Well, it is an exciting moment in time for us here on the National Leadership Briefing and for you in your own local community, because what we have been preparing for for quite some time has now brought us to this moment in time where we can exercise our combined influence and have the maximum amount of influence within a political party as they walk through a political process to identify who could become the next prime minister of our nation. And of course, we are always scanning the horizon for these opportunities. But when one like this comes along and we think about all of the sacrifices that you and I have made together, all of the time that we've invested in in preparing, all of the time we've spent learning about the opportunities and how to engage and how to catalyze others. This is the time that we are called go time. And it is something that we have been preparing for. And we're pretty excited about it because this is where it all happens. So what is going to be happening exactly? Well, what's going to be happening here is that the Conservative Party of Canada is going to be identifying over the next few months a new leader for that party. And that leader is going to either share our views and values or not share our views and values. And who's going to decide that? Well, you and me. We're going to decide that together. All of us together are going to decide what we're looking for. And you and I both know that in the National Leadership Briefing, right at the very top page, right on the main page of the website, you and I talk about it all the time. We're always looking for opportunities to advance the principles that undergird the four pillars. We are looking for a candidate who will advance the authority of parents to raise their children the way they want. We're looking for someone who's going to respect and defend when necessary our right of belief and freedom of religion. Religion. And we are going to definitely require the individual who is selected to lead that party and possibly become the prime minister of our nation. We're going to require that they pass laws and enact policies that provide for the safety and security of the citizens, especially the vulnerable that live among us in our communities. And then finally, of course, we are going to require that they will go to work immediately and begin to remove that burden of debt that has been placed on the backs of our children by previous civil governments. So this is what what we're looking for. This is what we're preparing for. We know what we want. We know how to get it. But there's two things that you and I need to do. First of all, is we need to be resolved in our decision first off, that we want to have maximum influence. Now, I know you and I have been training for this moment in time for quite a while, but it's important that we stop right now before we move any further and make that decision in our heads and our hearts and say, I am resolved that I am going to have maximum influence within this political party as to who could become the next prime minister of our nation. And I will do what's necessary because of that. That's the first step is make the decision. The power of that decision will propel you forward and opportunities will be created all around you for you to grow your influence locally. Believe me, it's an important step. The second thing that we need to have you do, because also we need you to acknowledge that you're going to be asking other people to do the same thing I'm asking you to do today. You better make sure you get this one down and get it down right, is that if you want to have authority within a political party, you've got to buy authority. It is the only authority that you can buy in Canada that you can apply in this moment in time is is political party authority. And the way you buy that is by buying a membership in that party. As a member of the party, you will have at your fingertips authority that you can use to have influence in the outcome of this election. So this is something you need to take care of right away. And I'm telling you what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get a two-year membership. The strategy that we're deploying over the months ahead is a two-year strategy. It is not a one-shot deal. We've got to have a longer-term perspective. So take down that, that political party membership for two years And then we're going to exercise it and commit to voting and engaging in every opportunity we can over the next two years with this membership. Now, you might say, Doug, come on, wait a second. I'm new on the briefing. Haven't got quite the uh, level of commitment that everyone else has right now. Brand new. Try to explain to me why it is that I shouldn't think that's a totally partisan thing to say and something I cannot engage in as somebody who's a member of my church, for example. Well, let me tell you this. 
at the national leadership briefing, we are nonpartisan. We are not somebody that like brands one party superior over another. We're, but what we do do is we always look for opportunities within each of the political parties where we can exercise influence. And in this moment in time, at this period of, of time in Canada, and in this particular moment in on the political landscape, this is a massive opportunity that we can capitalize on to engage in the processes within this political party and identify who could become the next Prime Minister of Canada. When we see other opportunities in other parties, I will encourage you in that direction as well. But right now, here now, in this moment in time, this is a massive opportunity that you and I can have a big, massive influence within. So let's not uh, hesitate. Let's let's remember, we we're, we're, have gun, will travel, they say. So grab that membership and let's get busy. Now, we're going to be talking about the next steps on the road ahead. So stay engaged with the National Leadership Briefing. Again, if you are on the briefings every month, then you ask other people to join the briefings, then they'll be on if you're on. But if you're not on, they won't come on. If you don't show it as a priority to follow along with us, engage all the way along through this process, then others will not do that either. So your level of, of commitment is important. If you're committed to, to having maximum influence and you get your membership, people will see that and they will follow you. And that's what we need. We need people to follow your lead locally. So, okay, so this is, this is what I'm going to suggest is let's leave it there for now. But again, start plugging people into the National Leadership Briefing. And as you look back on the February 4th National Leadership Briefing, if you didn't see that last briefing, go on to the uh, to the website, check out the briefing because you need to know what's on there. It talks about the strategy moving forward and we're going to continue to engage in this process always raising that level of influence as we go along. Okay. So that's all for this weekend. Now, in the meantime, and until next week, I just want you to know that I am praying blessing over you. I'm praying blessing over your family and I'm praying blessing over this nation because this is a key moment in our nation's history and we are a blessed nation and we are going to walk right into that blessing because we're going to be praying that into being and working to get there as well. So thanks so much for your time today. We'll talk to you again soon. Bye for now.